Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I am back, 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 back again for another Amber Lynn Reed vlog situation type of deal. And y'all, I'm so thirsty. Oh, I just need that hydration. And listen, I'm really upset because the store didn't have the... Gatorade Zero Blue, and I was like, well, I guess I could just get the regular blue Gatorade, but then that's got all kinds of sugar and stuff in it, and so I just did the next logical thing and just got a different flavor of the Gatorade Zero, and then I don't have to worry about all the sugar and the calories and and the regular Gatorade, so I'm just, mm, I'm just so, I'm just so dehydrated. I just need this hydration. Give it to me, Gatorade mommy and daddy. Hmm. All right, berry. <laughs> this is the berry flavor. I love how, like, the blue Gatorade gets, like, a fun name, like, Glacier Freeze. And this, whatever you would call this color, I don't know, I guess actually it kind of matches my new hair. But <laughs> whatever you'd call this color is just berry. Okay, iconic. We're hydrated. I took a couple sips. We're hydrated. We're ready to go. Judy's ready to go. Well, I don't know that she is. Look at her contemplating just jumping off that chair and, and leaving, and <laughs> leaving the room already. She's so sick of it! Anyways, we do have a new vlog for Miss Amber Led Reed today. It's called Open... Okay, never mind. Miss Judy really is over it. She wouldn't even let me read the title of the video! So today's video is called Opening Up About My Dating Life, Everything I Ate Today, and Easy Pasta Recipe bar vlog. I don't know. I don't have a lot to say about any of that. <laughs> I'm just excited to hear what's going on. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Hello, hello. Hi. I know I've been MIA. I just don't, I don't know. I feel like I have a million things to say, but are any of them worth saying? That's my headspace right now, but. I mean, anyways, I hello, mean, I what's new, baby girl? <laughs> what's new, girly pop? Have any of the things that you've ever had to say been worth saying? Probably some, probably some, but that's never stopped you from saying the things that aren't worth saying before. I mean, we literally spent a section of the last vlog you posted, listen to you complain about how you didn't get the, the Gatorade Zero, because the store didn't have the Gatorade Zero, you know? So it's like, I'm curious what you feel is worth saying versus what's not worth saying, you know? I also am kind of like fascinated by this this idea that every time now that she posts again, she has to say that she's been MIA. Like, yeah, we get it. You have been MIA, but that's like been the norm now for a few weeks. So I don't think anybody's surprised. I don't think anybody is, you know, brand new here. Well, there probably are some people who are brand new, but you know what I'm saying? Vlogging today. So it took me. I like your hair like this. To do my hair, and that's why I haven't put waves in it because it does take a sure but it looks hair. cute a lot of people have asked about my I hair love hair. I can I love that she's calling it waves now too by the way because some of y'all were getting so irritated that she was calling it crimp like you know not she wasn't calling it crimp that she was saying that she was crimping her hair and a lot of you were like that's not crimping a lot of y'all were the hair police and you said Amber Lynn you're in violation of using the wrong word for the waves in your hair. But I need to hear more about the fairy hair, because, listen, I did ask myself, I said, you got fairy hair? You got fairy hair I can put in my hair? And this is the best we can do. This, this is, well, this was not actually his response to the fairy hair, but this is the best we can do, besties. And wash it, straighten it, curl it, do whatever I want uh -huh. with it. What it is, is like these strands, which... Silk? No. <laughs> Ugh, I don't remember what. Uh -huh. But it goes to the root of uh -huh. just one of your hairs. And it's <laughs> just, just like a one knot. single so hair. So when that natural hair comes out or falls out, that's when the fairy hair will come out. Okay. I think in total, I've had two or three fall out already. 
Um, I am planning on getting more. I'm probably yes. gonna stick with the gold because I'm Let's like, fucking go. But yeah, you just treat your hair like you normally treat it. You wash it, brush it, whatever okay. it may be, and yeah. I will say the fairy hair didn't look as wavy. It it doesn't seem to take like the heat or like the the curl or wave as well as your regular hair does. But okay, that's cool. I'm so glad we're getting more fairy hair from Miss Amberlynn Reed. I love it. We love a fun hair moment, don't we? I mean, like, look at me. Okay. <laughs> Currently taking my baby for a walk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It honestly feels so good outside today like love lit. so i think i'm gonna walk twinkie a little bit further than we usually let's go fucking go sad. okay so i think i just came to terms with i need to start doing my makeup in natural sunlight why because your girl be looking a little different when she's in the sunlight <laughs> <Ooh>. wait <laughs> Girl, you look the same as you always do. I actually really liked her makeup right there. L let me go back so you can see. Well, that's not the best. Let me get a good. Oh, right here. I think her makeup looks great. I think it looks good. I Listen, y'all can hate all you want, but I like it. I mean, it's not that different than it normally is. But I enjoy it. I enjoy it. That's not me trying to gaslight her. That's me positively affirming her, okay? Because sometimes people think that when I say, oh, you look the same as you always do, people are like, oh, you're gaslighting her, Zach. You're gaslighting her. How dare you tell her how to feel? I'm, I'm literally sitting here affirming that, one, her makeup looks the same, and that, two, I think her makeup looks good, okay? I'm not trying to bring her down. I'm not trying to bring Amberlynn's makeup skills down. It's one of the things that I like about her. Because your girl be looking a little different when she's in the sun. Different. Y'all, I'm just noticing that every single day, I am improving my stamina. Girl, if you don't get us out of this fucking fridge, this fucking fridge thing that she keeps doing, why? Why am I in the fridge? It's already cold enough here in fucking Chicago. I don't need to be sitting in your fridge waiting to get scooped up for your next snack. I swear to God, she's about to put us in a bowl of chicken salad soon and scoop us up with a cheese steak. Like, girl, no, please. What, what in the cinematography, Lynn, do you think is going on here? I think everyone's favorite question is like, how do you do it? It's really just me pushing myself to do more. So I'm feeling a little hungry. Hungry. I a lot of the foods that I'm eating lately, very high in sodium. Here's a <laughs> beautiful example I of that. I'm, a, I'm obsessed with that, too, because if y'all don't remember back in the day, it's been a long time since she was out here saying, like, oh, there's six sodiums in this and things like that. But she's always, I mean, in general, talking about her concerns about sodium. And I do find it fascinating that she, like, is ready to eat so much sodium, considering that a lot of the, the complaints she has about, like, her lymphedema and lymphedema is that like she swells, that she retains water and things like that and eating stuff that's like high in sodium will do that to anybody regardless of lipedema and lymphedema. And I would imagine it's probably even worse with lipedema and lymphedema. So yeah, I guess girl, collect all the sodiums. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I don't think this is Pokemon. I don't think you gotta catch them all, but Amberlynn certainly is trying. My favorite freaking pickle ever. So I am a texture girly. Mm. This right here. It's yeah. the Vlasic Big Crunch Snackums Kosher. Crunch. This is the way to go. Which also, so speaking I'm of sodiums, this whole bottle has 380 milligrams of sodiums in them. <laughs> oh my god. So that's, I mean, that's like a part of what Gatorade is because it replenishes your electrolytes. Electrolytes are sodium and potassium. So like a good chunk of this is sodium. You know what I'm saying? I've also come to the terms that I really like the cool blue Gatorade as mm -hmm. well. Uh-huh. So, Not the well, you should try the berry. That's a thing. Give give Miss Berry a chance. I'm telling you, she's she's cute. Give her a chance, Amberlynn. I need like a meal though, because that's having one pickle. That's not gonna sustain me. Well, so I think I'm gonna have absolutely. to have some tortellini. It's a great value brand. Okay. Tastes homemade. Literally the best thing I've ever ate. Like. Tastes so homemade. Good. It tastes like a homemade it. <laughs> You're telling me a homemade that tortellini pasta in a box from the Walmart. 
Bingo, 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 bingo. Eh, 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 eh. Bingo, 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 bingo. Hey, 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 hey. Bingo, 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 bingo. B-I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was the name -o. I gotta say though, okay, song and dance aside. <laughs> song and dance aside. Woo, also, I've had a lot of energy lately in videos, and I don't know what it is, but some of y'all seem to think it's me being on Chantal's little unicity thing, situation type of deal, that's why I just have so much energy. No, <laughs> it, it certainly is not. But what I was gonna say before I got on that tangent is like, ah, uh, cinematography Lynn is at it again. We just get to see how her like, the table is like a little shelf for her bubulas, for her little chest piece just sitting on, sitting on the table. <laughs> Woo, we love these angles, girly pop. She's kind of close to bingo. So we just left bingo. My mom won. I didn't. Let's go, Mama Lynn. So my sweet angel baby is currently in the sink. Okay. Because while mama was gone, she got into something. And I literally can't figure out what it is at all. But she has green all over her face. I'll post a picture here so you guys can see. She does, in fact, have green all over her face. I'm trying to remember. Was there some kind of green food that Amberlynn had recently in her last vlog? And also, like, why are you, like, why are you leaving something out where she can get to it? And also, why don't you know what it is? Like, you're a single person. You're the only one bringing stuff in and out of your home. <laughs> Right? Like, like, it's not like you have roommates that could have left something out. It's not like you have a partner that could have left something out. Like, it's your home. You're the only person there. Why don't you know what she got into? And also, like, I would be concerned, you know? Because, like, some things maybe dogs aren't supposed to have. Like, maybe you need to take her to the emergency vet. I'm sure Twinkie's okay, but I'm just, I'm just so confused how you could just be so clueless when it's your home. There's only so many things I would imagine that you could leave out for your dog to get. It's okay. She's actually a sweet baby. She hates baths, but... Uh -huh. I, my dogs really do good too. And she listens. Well, Judy book? really hates baths. Poe will tolerate it. Poe's probably more like this level of like tolerating me giving him a bath and or like drying him off and things like that. Judy hates every single process. She will fight tooth and nail the whole fucking time. It's it's a very miserable experience. Green on you. What is it? I'm what so confused how she just doesn't Green know. Girl. Oh, come here. I'm not I'm not saying that sometimes, like, dogs don't get into some shit. I mean, we literally just passed the anniversary of Poe eating his dog bed and me not realizing it. <laughs> okay, so, like, I'm, I'm not saying, like, she's the worst pair ever, but I'm also just, like, you know, like, I have people going in and out of my home. There's me and Noel. I didn't see it on his dog bed. There were no signs that he'd actually done it until I saw him throw up the dog bed. And then I was like, oh my God, that's what it is. But like, if I came in and I saw Judy or Poe covered in something green, I would just have to imagine, cause like you can visibly see that. I would just have to imagine that somewhere in my house, I would know that there was a green thing for them to get into. And I, <laughs> I would know what it was. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm not necessarily saying she's, like, irresponsible or anything like that. I think dogs get into some shit, right? Like, dogs are always, always trying to get into something. But I just, like, I, I'm, I think the part that baffles me is, like, why you don't know what it was. When they're, like, how many green things could be in your home? You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's okay. I don't know what was green. We gotta figure it out. Yeah, let's... Come on, come on, Nancy Drew, let's start investigating. Look around your fucking home. <laughs> I'm sure there's still remnants of it, whatever it was. 
Y'all, the last episode, the finale of Squid Game, the challenge is up, and I'm so oh, excited. Oh, don't tell me, girl. This genuinely has been such a freaking good show. Bestie, don't think- tell me anything. Don't tell me anything. Noel and I are taking our sweet-ass time watching it. Do not spoil it for me. And do not spoil it in the comments, and now I'm sure somebody will. I'm going to have a couple drinks. I am an adult. Okay, um, come on, buzzball eggs. I know people... What am I doing with my hair? I know people are worried. There's nothing to be worried about. I'm sorry that I ever like gave that impression. Yeah, okay. Let's let's also, yeah, remind people that you're the one that gave that impression. You're the one. I will every time this comes up, I will put the clip in this fucking video, in a video, anytime she brings it up, because she's the one that got on camera and started talking about how she needed to take a break from drinking because she was using it to deal with her emotions and her loneliness and not really doing what she needed to do with it. So every time she comes on here and acts clueless about why people are concerned, I've got to remind her that she's the reason that people are concerned. It's so infuriating to me. But I actually am taking a break on the whole drinking thing because I felt like I was turning to it. I I did go through a phase a couple years ago where um, I was turning to alcohol. And the last time I drank was on live stream, I was drinking whiskey. It's because I was turning to alcohol um, because I just felt like I needed something so I didn't have to feel what I was currently feeling. And that's when I told myself, okay, I need to stop drinking because I'm not gonna use alcohol as a crutch. I'm not that person, or at least I thought I wasn't that person. But when I told myself I was gonna stop drinking, I was able to do that. I didn't drink for about a year and a half. And now I'm finding myself going back to that. Like at first I was like, you know what? Single era, I live by myself, have a couple drinks. There's nothing wrong with that. But then I realized, okay, I like the way this makes me feel. I like that it's taking away certain emotions, heightening other emotions, and it's making me feel good. Then I started doing it more frequently, and I kind of want to just take like a little break until I heal a little bit more. Obviously, maybe something changed, okay? Then talk about that. (laughs) Then say that. Say, you know, at that time, I was really feeling that way, and I've taken some time to, I don't know, go to therapy, to work through it. That's why people are concerned, and I really do mean that when I say that, like, I think it's concerning that she said that, that she said that she needed to take a break from drinking, that she was using it to cope with her her problems, her feelings of loneliness and things like that. Because that's, that's like when drinking starts to become a problem, right? Like, that's not just like, oh, I'm an adult and I can have a casual glass of wine at home alone while I watch one of my favorite TV shows. That's not the same thing, you know? I, and listen, I'm not trying to, trying to like, diagnose anybody or put anybody in a box. I'm just saying that that's my concern based on the things that she has said herself. Um, there was a moment where I felt like I was turning to alcohol. Uh-huh. And okay. I'm really not because I noticed, like, if I'm in a bad mood, I'm not going to drink. Oh, okay. This before. Okay. Uh-huh. Maybe I, this is going to be one of those parts where people are like, Zach, if you would have just waited 12 more seconds. And, okay. All right. Okay. Listen, I if if she wants to say that she's good and she's only doing it when she's in a good space, good. <laughs> good. I think the thing that I will caution is one that we've heard this before with Delta 8. Like, she said similar things with Delta 8, right? Like, she said that she needed to take a break from Delta 8 because she was using it to deal with her emotions, particularly... Uh, if I recall correctly, during the heartbreak era, well, w- the beginning of the heartbreak era, the first heartbreak era, I don't, I don't remember specifically what part of that era that was. And I think it's also, I mean, to some extent, a little bit of a projection of my own experience with it because I've been there before too, right? Like, I've been there at points where I was like, oh, I'm drinking to deal with my emotions, I should stop. And then... I was like, well, I'm only, I'm, I'm going to stop letting myself drink when I'm in a bad, a bad mental headspace. And the reality is, is that like every time I drank was, was like problematic, you know, do you feel me? You feel me? I'm not, I'm not here to preach or anything. I, I've only been not drinking since August. Okay. So I'm like not an expert on anything. Again, this is also, like, just my own experience. I I know that her experience could be different. 
but I think it's I think it's reasonable that people are concerned. You know what I'm saying? Does that does that resonate with anybody? Again, I'm not trying to demonize her because I think actually if she does have a problem with alcohol, that I hope she would like get help for it. But if she says that she's fine, I mean, like I gotta take her at her her word for that. Although you know, <laughs> Amber Lynn's word is. Not the best, but I, I will take her for it. Um, I kind of just want to like sit here. Okay. Is the girly pop that I am. And I want to watch this final episode. It's 44 minutes long. <laughs> Y'all, my attention span is non-existent. There's only a few shows where mm -hmm. I can actually sit and be like, wow, I am so entertained. Okay. This is one of them. And also Jersey Shore Family Vacation. Um... That's like top two right now. Where I can okay. actually sit and watch a full episode Love. in one go. Obsessed. What no is that movies? knocking? Nothing. I can't do that with like literally anything. I can't do it with like a YouTube video. Gotta... Nothing. Speaking of YouTube video. I don't know what that is outside, but I, I thought I was going to sneeze. I thought I was going to sneeze, besties. Oh, let me make sure it's over. Ooh, okay. Chantel, <laughs> her new video, I'm obsessed. If this, um, if this woman doesn't stop simping for fucking Chantal Marie, Chantal Show, Foodie Beauty, Flobby Bobby, I swear the fuck to God. <laughs> hey, listen, as somebody who has been watching Chantal's videos more, more recently, ain't no fucking reason to be obsessed over anything she, she's posted. Ain't no reason to obsess over anything homegirl has posted. Have I found aspects of it entertaining? Yes. But to be obsessed? Like, I, I need to know which video in particular also because the other thing about all of this is that I don't know when Amber Lynn's filming. I don't know what day this was. Saying how she lied about her way in. Like, literally... Okay, like, do you want my crown? Because I can go no, get it for you. It's stupid. No, here's the problem with that, okay? <laughs> here, here, oh, now that I know what video she's talking about. Also, I guess I should have known what day it was because she just said that the, the finale of Squid Game just dropped and I know what day that dropped. But anyways, regardless, that video is so dumb, okay? The video in question is so dumb. The trolling or like the, the attempt to be funny, it wasn't funny. Now, I have like half of a brain cell, <laughs> okay? So like I watched it and... And could tell that it was not serious, okay? I could tell that she was trolling and trying to be funny. But did I laugh? No, I didn't laugh. And I could see if you are just not paying attention or just like only looking and seeing the title of her video, I could see, I suppose, people believing that that's real. And that's the problem is Chantal had to make a clarifying community tab post because she was so unfunny that people thought that she was being serious and was like actually being like, oh, okay, so like you came clean, you came clean and you're you're finally being honest about being 500 something pounds. I you, now let's be clear. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I I just trust that she's 366 pounds. She's got a plethora of health issues. Certainly her weight is probably not something she should be joking about, but here we are. And people took her seriously because she was trying to make a joke that wasn't funny. She was trying to make a joke and she was not funny whatsoever. And that was the, the consequences of her own action, is that people took her seriously. Now, I, I am kind of concerned about the people who did take it seriously, who thought she was being honest, because I'm like, again, you got half a brain cell? You're probably going to be able to spot that a mile away. But I do get it. She wasn't funny. It was There were no laughs. No laughs escaped this mouth <laughs> when I watched that video, okay? But Amber Lynn be over here sipping over it, being like, oh, queen of trolling, whoever, whatever. And also talk about, you know, in recent videos, she just got done talking in a video a, a couple videos ago about how she still thinks, like, an occasional troll is okay. But the problem with both of them trolling is that when they troll, 
it's hard for anybody to take them fucking seriously, right? And so then they're going to get mad when people don't believe them in the future. And that's just the risk you take when you post stupid shit like that, okay? When you post stupid trolly shit to get clicks and views, that's the consequences of your own action. So when Chantal comes back in a couple of days and she's, well, she already did, kind of, right? Because she made that community tab post. But when she comes back and she's so mad, like, why doesn't anybody believe me? And she's raging. And when she's throwing bottles of Unicity Herba Mate, well, then we can, <laughs> we can have that conversation then, right? Like, <sighs> these goofies. Wash it off. Like, that's the type of energy we need in this community because, <sighs> God, people, I We're can't. Everyone wants me and Chantel to be bigger than what we really are, and it's like, Y'all, we're already big. Like, trust me. I mean... You already have that on us. So. I mean, I do agree with her about that. I do agree with her about that. But, like, the the reality is, is that Chantal, like, wasn't funny. That wasn't funny. <laughs> it wasn't a funny video. You don't need to make us even bigger than we already are. So, I'm gonna go get me a buzz ball from my fridge. Let's I'm turn up. It open. I'm going to start this episode. Y'all want me to be so bigger than I already am, so I'm going to go drink this calorie-dense, high ABV, <laughs> alcoholic beverage and live my best life. So freaking excited. Okay, so I'm going to have a pineapple colada. Wow. And I think I'm also going to have some Let's salami. Let's go. Some of you got to get that cheese plate herb. out? Cheese spread with some crackers. You gonna get that cheese plate out? It's gonna be a time, I promise. Cheers. Cheers. Just have to be on guard. Girl, I don't wanna be spoiled. Actually, today has been a weird pasta day for me. I don't really usually have this much pasta, but your girl's craving carbs. Now, girl. <laughs> now, Miss Ma'am. Please be serious right now. So, I'm currently just boiling some. Why are you doing pasta? Why are wait? Why are we doing it in in like a skillet? Why why are we doing it in a skillet? That is not the the, the vessel for boiling pasta. Why are we doing this? And then I'm gonna add some of this unsalted butter, garlic salt, grated Parmesan cheese and some tapatio, and it's gonna be great, I promise. Wait, wait, Cheese. wait, wait, so I need to see these again. Elbow pasta here. And then I'm gonna salt. add some of this unsalted butter. Or but salt. salt, butter, unsalted butter. What is all this beeping happening outside my home today? Oh my gosh, okay. So unsalted butter, garlic salt, Grated Parmesan cheese. Parm. And some sawdust Parmesan cheese and tapatio. Okay. Tapatio. And it's going to be great. And that's it? I promise. That's all we're this doing? Is pasta I'm using. Barilla. Elbows. So one thing about me is I do like my pasta al dente. I okay. do not like Quirky squishy. Girl. No. And quirky smushy. Girl. No. Let me try <laughs> She's so here. quirky. That is pretty. She's a star, but she cry, cry, cries in her lonely heart thinking, if I'm quirky, why don't I eat me? No, <laughs> I don't know where it's going with that. I'm not gonna come up with the the new original lyrics on the on the spot. But she's so quirky. She's a star. Close to perfect. So let me let it boil for another. I'd say. The, I, I'm I'm so irritated by boiling the pasta in the skillet though. <laughs> like that is really fucking sending me. It is sending me. I'm leaving the planet. I'm going to Pluto. Okay, I'm gonna take this and strain it. I'll be right back. I left the tiniest bit of water in there. Uh-huh. Why Why we still got the same amount of heat on? Why do we got the same amount of heat on just this, like, plain-ass pasta in there? Butter, garlic salt, the Parmesan, and the tapatio. Oh, God. And then I just continuously stir. Why? Usually it takes a few minutes. Why? Why? So as it does its thing, I'm actually Why? just going to turn off the burner because the heat will stay. I made this, I want to say like a week ago, and it was so delicious. I was like, okay. 
I don't know what it is, but I it's just most, not on drink. With the amount of with the amount of like seasonings that she put on this, this is ultimately just gonna come out to just being like butter noodles. That's really all it is, because she didn't put enough of anything else on there for you to really get the taste. She put, like, a dash of everything else and then, like, a tablespoon of butter. This is just going to be buttered noodles. This ain't... <laughs> Amberlynn, what are we doing here? Track <laughs> at all in any sort of way. And I was actually thinking about going back to one meal a day, which is what I was doing uh -huh. when I lost 30 pounds in just one month. Like the the fact that she just, like, has all these numbers saved up in her head from, like, rando diets that she's done. And she's like, on this diet, I did this number of pounds and things like that. Like, that's wild to me. And it's also just wild to me. It's like, if that was working, why didn't we keep going, baby girl? <laughs> Like, obviously, it's not sustainable or else you would have kept doing it. Genuinely works for me so well. All right. That so is, here is, is my she, pasta. I probably is she eating all of this, too? Because that is an insane amount of pasta, just for the record. I mean, I guess that's where most of the, the like, calories and stuff is going to come from outside of the butter. So maybe that's, like an okay portion like it's not like she it was adding calories elsewhere like I don't think she put enough of the parmesan cheese on it for that to be like a significant amount of additional calories but then, this feels this feels oh this is this is honestly I'm kind of glad she's living by herself because I do feel like we're returning to just like the traditional recipes of of Amber Lynn lore where she just makes just like the most like college student type of meal situation you know and not not to say that that's a bad thing I'm sure in college I made stuff like this all the time but you know what I've grown I'm <laughs> you know what I'm 34 years old this might not look the greatest but it tastes so good so I'm sure there's <sighs> plenty to come for me for in this video <laughs> But I think I only well, have three I'm, spoons. I'm not I'm not coming for you, Amberlynn, if you know what I'm saying. That's not a thing that I'm gonna do. Now what about three spoons? Let me let me let me rewind so I can hear the full thing. To come for me for in this video. But I think I own like three spoons. Oh, you own and dirty. three. I really didn't feel like cleaning them, so I'm literally eating my pasta with a measuring spoon. She's so quirky. She's a star. She eats her pasta with a measuring spoon, thinking no one else is like this, cause I am so quirky. <laughs> she is so goofy. How hard is it to fucking clean a spoon? How hard is it to take a spoon Get your sponge, your your dish sponge, your your dish cloth, put a little soap on there and clean it and rinse it off in the sink. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> that is like also such an obnoxious way to do it because those aren't designed to eat like you're going to have to slurp it like you just did every single time you take a bite. So, I will say that something I've noticed living on my own is, like, I cook a lot for one person because I'm used to cooking for two people. But one thing I am proud of, like, you guys, a few years ago, like, I would have made too much, ate the whole thing. But this is how much that I am saving for tomorrow. Oh, I okay. I do have a bad habit of always putting all of my food in one bowl when it's like obvious I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Yeah, I that's that's the thing is like ain't nobody gonna believe. I already can see it now in the comments. Ain't no way she didn't eat that whole thing, which like I, I believe that she probably won't because she'll probably show it in a future segment or a part of the vlog or something like that. But I just know some people are gonna be like, she ate the whole thing. She ate it all. <laughs> but I, I don't understand, like, if you're not planning on eating it all, why not just 
already go ahead and put the, the rest in a container to put in the fridge. Maybe it's because, like, for me, it's satisfying knowing, like, I can stop myself now mm. from eating the whole thing. Whereas mm -hmm. years ago, your girl would have ate this whole bowl. But all of this, I'm done. That, that was looks so good. I'm also not convinced, though, that she hasn't, like, that looks like the same amount that was in it to start with. Like, how much of that did you actually eat? This is my question. That's what I'm confused about because it doesn't look like you've eaten any of it yet. I'm going to save the rest for later. I'm currently on my third buzz ball. Girl, those are 15% ABV, which thank you to the people who corrected me. I think they called them ABC or something. It stands for alcohol by volume. 15% ABV. Three of them. Like, okay, girly pop. Jesus. Join the night. I know a lot of you want me to live stream. Especially I know. While I don't really. Actually. <laughs> and I think about it a lot. I do. I have it in my brain. Uh -huh. Frequently to live stream. Um, even sober, I feel like it would be super freaking fun. I Well, then do it, I guess. I haven't since moving. I haven't live streamed since... When was the last time? Um... Yeah, okay, I remember now. So, I don't know. <laughs> uh, mm, yeah, I remember now, and then gives no additional context. I think the last time she live-streamed was during the Destiny drama. I think that was the last time she was live-streaming, and I think she eventually realized she should probably stop because she was fucking putting her foot in her mouth constantly and just making things worse. <laughs> so... <laughs> I think that was the last time she live streamed. Personally, her live streams, I just find to be so annoying because it's like you have to fucking comb through those things to find the, the entertaining bit, you know, the, the stuff that's actually interesting because a lot of the times it's just her sitting there answering the same 1,200 questions we've heard her answer time and time again about her favorite movie, her fa where she wants to travel, this, that, the other. And I don't need to do all that. <laughs> I mean, I will because I'm invested, but I don't, I don't need to. I don't want to. It's like even talking about it now, I'm like, oh my gosh, should I go live stream? Let's now? do it. I know a lot <laughs> no, of people don't do want it. tea, don't do it. which I have tea, <laughs> especially like my dating life. I'm not going to lie to you. I then do, tell me now. You know, tell me now. I have, okay. I have been talking to people and I'm open to that, but like... I don't think I'm open for a relationship right now unless like, you know, I fall in love or I'm just like, <laughs> oh my God, this person is so perfect. Well, well, we know you girl. All it takes is like two weeks of DMing with a girly pop in the Instagram DMs and you're in love. So you better tread carefully. You better tread carefully in talking to the girlies. Um, I'm not really like looking for a relationship. I, I don't, don't believe that. that. That's the case. But I actually <laughs> love living by myself. You listen. So even you can be in a relationship and still live by yourself. You you can be in a relationship and live by yourself. You know how long I dated Noel before we moved in together? Quite a while, like three years. Okay, <laughs> I think we had been dating for at least three years before he he moved in with me. Okay, you don't have to do this thing that you do, which is get in a relationship and then move him in immediately. That's not a requirement. <laughs> Just so we're clear and on the same page. If I got into a relationship, I don't want to like have a live in relationship. Okay, I want to exactly. Experience there you being go. In a relationship with someone where it's like we go on dates. And yeah. Like you drop me off at my house. Or yes. Like, I have days where I'm able to miss you, like dating, <laughs> like true dating. Like I don't want a live in girlfriend because that's what uh -huh. I've been doing since I was 18. I'm and I'm fixing to be 33 on the 27th. It is my birthday month, folks. Yes, it Let's is. Let's fucking go. Turn up for Amber Lynn's birthday. One shot for the birthday girl. Two shots for the birthday girl. <laughs> that's like, uh, you know, that's a whole era within itself that lasted over a decade. Sure. It lasted 14 years. I, listen. It's like, I want to experience, like, continuously living on my own. Yeah. Can somebody, can somebody put a pin in this and bookmark this? And so whenever in a future video I'm asking, 
when did she say that? <laughs> when did she say that? Because she, like, whenever she in the future does have her girlfriend move in and, and it's only been a matter of a couple of weeks, can somebody remind me that this is the video that that happened in when that happens <laughs> so I can easily pull the clip? Because I, I'll believe it when I see it. How about that? I'll believe it when I see it. She wants to be a changed person and not immediately move a girlfriend in. I'll believe it when I see it, girl. And taking care of homely responsibilities homely. by myself and just being like independent in that way. Whereas like a partner is just like an extra part of my life and uh -huh. not like my whole life. <laughs> yeah, I have a welcome. bad habit of making my partners my whole life. I'm so glad she's saying some of this though, because I've been saying this about her. Like I've been like so many of her relationships, like the reason that people think she's so codependent on all of these these partners that she's had over time on YouTube is because she makes them her whole life. She makes them her identity. She makes them who she is. And so, yeah, of course, then people, on top of, like, all of the things they th already think about you needing help and, like, wiping your butt and doing things around the house and stuff like that, on top of just, like, their assumptions about you because you're fat, they also see how you do that, you know? They see how you make your partner the only thing that matters in your life. That's what I've been trying to say is like, you can have a partner and not have them be your entire life. You can have your partner and still live independently from them. And honestly, truly, that explains so much about why you're so devastated that you're not with wifey anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because that was like your whole entire life was just her. And when she's not there anymore, you don't know who you are as a person. Um, especially, like, I mean, even in, like, talking stages, I tend to do that as well. And I want to blame it on my BPD, because as you guys know, I was diagnosed borderline personality disorder. And I want to blame it on was, that. I was wondering when that would get brought up again, because she said it in that one video, and she's, like, not really talked about it a whole lot since then. But, yeah, that's that's par for the course for her. She th The only thing that she likes about a diagnosis is that she can blame stuff on it. I think, like, a lot of people, diagnoses are so helpful in understanding, like, why we are the way we are. And certainly that might explain a lot of things about Amberlynn. The other thing is, though, is that it just stops at giving the blame. And what I would, I would personally love to see for her is like, all right, well, if you're, you're identifying that, like, there's these negative behaviors associated with this diagnosis, okay, so what are we going to do about that then? Because it just stops. It just stops at, like, the justification for the bad behavior. But I think also just, like, I don't know, sometimes it's hard to like separate your true self with, is this just like my mental illness? But um, deep down, I know that like I have a big heart and I tend to love people very strongly. That's just like who I am at my core. I just and like I have such a big heart. I just love people so hard. Like you, like y'all might not get it, but like I have such a big heart. <laughs> Like, y'all might not see it, but deep down at my core, there's a big, huge, ginormous, massive heart. And I just love people so hard. And I don't think I ever want to change that about me. Because I, I feel like that's... Why, 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 would, why, why would anybody change loving people? Why? See, that's the difference, though, is like... I think a lot of people have the capacity to love people deeply, to love people sincerely. But what you're saying is a little bit past loving a person, right? Like, you're you're saying that, like, you literally obsess over them, make them your whole life. Like, th that's, like, me paraphrasing a little bit, but essentially what you just said in this video. Please be serious. Beautiful thing. There's just so much like hate in the world and I'm just not that girly. I've never been that girly and I know- <laughs> She's never been that girly. Girl, you better pray that I don't have time to go pull up some receipts.
<laughs> you better pray that I don't have time to go pull up these seats. You better go to that mega church with your mom and start praying that I don't have time to pull up the receipts for this video. I mean, I, honestly, truly, for people that have been around for a while, I don't think that I would need to pull up the receipts. <sighs> but girl, Miss Ma'am. A lot of you dislike me because of things I've done or said in the past. And it's just like, overall as a whole, I have changed a lot. Um, why am I getting emotional? I owe a big thanks to my ex because I just, um, I feel like I am super immature in a lot of ways. I'm very childish. But okay, yes. She That resonates. She helped ground me a little bit. And she, I feel like I matured in certain aspects for sure. Um, I'm always going to be childish. And I'm always going to troll online. But <laughs> <laughs> Bookmark that too. There's so many things I want to bookmark in this fucking video. There's so many things I want to bookmark in this video and return to. Her promising to continue trolling on the internet, yet she has said that it's because of her trolling that people don't believe her during serious times and experiences. Like, that's the reality. Is like, I certainly think there's probably some ways that she has changed over time, but at her core, who she is on the internet has not changed all that much. Who she's presented as, as a character on the internet has not changed all that much. All right, I, she, she's always gonna troll on the internet. I know that's right. You, listen, at least you're being honest about it, but when you're not honest about it in a few months from now, we'll return to this clip. <laughs> we'll return to this clip. I'm just bookmarking this whole video. It's never out of like, illness. <laughs> Like, it's never like ill, oh, what is that saying? It's never like in an ill way, like a bad way. Um, it's always just coming from like, She's I'm struggling. Old, I like to be stupid sometimes, you know? Sometimes. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. <laughs> don't mind me. I don't know, I've just been thinking a lot. Don't lately, mind me. Like just about life in general. And oh. YouTube. Philosophical lens coming out. She's been thinking deeply about life with her big, massive heart. I have went back and I've watched videos from like 2019, mm -hmm. 2017. Mm -hmm. And I feel like those eras were a very different Amberlynn. Like truly a very different Amberlynn. And it's like, I had no filter back then. Like It's well, because, like, like, surely 2017 was, like, near the, the end of Destiny, beginning of the Beck era. I don't know. Because 2017 was around the time that I, like, found her, if I recall correctly, on the internet. So, so she really probably was with Beck at that point. But regardless... You haven't changed that much since then. You really haven't. Like, I'm just thinking about, like, you know, even the way that she responds to people is similarly. Like, you know, when she's been upset at me, the way that she responded and, like, threatening, um, you know, famously had slid into my DMs and threatened to have Becky's sister sue me. <laughs> right? Like... Famously, famously slid in my DMs to do that and, like, often retaliates against people that she's upset with by, like, threatening lawsuits, by, like... I mean, she literally just threatened Beck with, a, with legal action this past summer, right? And the way that she just, like, harshly responds to... I mean, I guess this is... Here's your receipts that, from what I was talking about earlier... Like, the way that she, like, she's like, I'm such a good person, I'm such a good person, until Destiny said something that she didn't like, and so then she's like, well, let me drop this bomb about how Destiny and Dana put down their dog, you know? Like, it's, like, stuff like that. Like, she she wants to claim that she's this good, changed person, but she was just doing that this past summer. 
She she always wants to claim that she's like the bigger person, that she has so much love in her heart. She would never say anything negative about her exes, and then she always does. Like, I'm just waiting for the, the shit she has to talk about Feline. I even shocked myself with some of the things that I said, and I really feel like that's a big reason why people stuck around and watched me, because it's like I shared the craziest things and now it's like you those know, things that I shared then I would never share now and I feel like it's causing like a big disconnect and I well, really hate that I'm well the thing I guess what you're saying then is that the changes is that you've just chosen not to share as much stuff as you used to <laughs> that, that's what I'm getting from what you said that's what sounds like the changes so it doesn't sound like you've changed as a person you've just changed what you're choosing to share with with your community. Truly trying to find a balance between current Amberlynn, but also the Amberlynn that you guys enjoy most. And I am having a little bit of a hard time figuring that out. So I think it's just like I don't we all need to be patient. <laughs> I need to be patient with myself. I need you guys to be patient with me. But I don't I don't understand I don't understand what you're saying. So are you suggesting that the Amber Lynn that your audience loves the most is the Amber Lynn from 2017, 2019, whoever, whatever, but you've changed so much, but you're trying to find a balance between what the audience loves and being your authentic self that's allegedly changed since then, but now are you suggesting that you would go back to being who you were in 2017, 2019? Like, do you understand, I guess, <laughs> why that's so confusing? I don't understand. I'm very confused. I know my content is very far few in between. Like I only upload once to like twice, maybe three times a week. And Not I wanna three times a week where? <laughs> Wait, three two is a push. Three times a week where? Just just to be clear. I go back to like every other day. Let's like, do it. I just actively find myself feeling super self-conscious about what I'm filming, what I'm saying, and I don't like that feeling at all. So it prevents me from filming, and I really, really hate that. Sorry, if you see me looking down, I'm just like... <laughs> She's obsessed with, with her buzz over ball. Over. I'm a very fidgety person, like, random fact, but... I'm random sure fact? Wrong. Here's the most boring thing ever. <laughs> I love her random facts. Like... Ain't nobody care. Ain't nobody care. I wasn't even paying attention to what, that you were looking down. Nobody cares. I don't know if you know that because that's something that I have shared countless times. Anyways, I, I'm i literally just rambling at this point. I should have just so live true. streamed. Oh, and that's it? That's the video. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to bookmark that. <laughs> I'm going to bookmark that, but I still might need y'all to remind me that that's the video where she talks about all those things because wild, wild. I, I'm so confused by that last part specifically. Like, post whatever you want, girl. <laughs> like, like, post whatever you want. That's what you've been doing. I don't know if she's feeling like the pressure of views. Her views are not that bad. Like, if anything, I feel like what she's really feeling the pressure of is that if she was getting even the views that she's getting on the videos that she's getting and she was posting with more frequency, she would still have a, a decent paycheck, you know? And I think she would also... Like, if she's feeling financially strained from, from whatever's happening on YouTube... That's only because she's posting less frequently, right? Like, if you want more views on your channel, you gotta post with some kind of frequency to get them. I also am just still really confused by this, like, long monologue about how she's changed since 2019 or 2017 or whatever year she was specifically talking about, but then went on to talk about how, like, she she wants to be what people enjoy <laughs> on her channel, and I'm like... I'm, I'm confused what she thinks people will enjoy. I mean, to some extent, I, I do understand why people think that her content is boring or lacking. That certainly, you know, it started out strong moving to Oklahoma, and it's since turned into, like, the same thing in every video, which happens a lot with Amberlynn. And so, I don't know. It's just so confusing to me. I think most people would be happy with her just trying and doing anything new. Like, that's why the beginning of the Oklahoma 
part of her life was so exciting is because we were getting to see things that she hadn't done before, but now she's just repeating all of those things because that's, I guess, what her life is? Question mark? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I think that's all the thoughts I have about this video today. You, you let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below, hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Go ahead and leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I enjoyed my Gatorade Zero. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!